Welcome back Guardians, my name's Atheon. In this video I will show you the final steps for getting the exotic sword and on top of that gameplay from all three exotic swords and their unique abilities. So stay tuned for the end of the video for that or skip straight ahead to it if that's all you want to see. Now to get the exotic sword the last part of the quest will require you to go to a sunless cell on difficulty light 300 recommended. You will then have to kill the prison warden he will be named of your actual burn type so if you like me you have the arc sword you'll have to kill the arc warden and then kill the dark blade within 30 seconds of each other so as you'll see here the warden's health actually flies down you've got to be careful not to kill him before you get the dark blade ready to die the best way we found to do this was to get the dark blade to a point where he'd only take a tiny little bit more damage before dying wait for him to teleport out when he came back in take out our respective knights and then go after the dark blade himself and that gets the quest done quite easily it was very effective for us and got our sword bounties completed all at the same time but one which we did prior to that so having completed that quest line you then return to Shax to pick up your exotic sword mine was the bolt caster and in my opinion this is the best one of course i'm going to say that that is the first exotic sword i've got but you'll see why i love it so much in the next stages of the video so as i said once this step is done that's it you have your sword return get your sword get your grimoire score and get ready to have a lot of fun with this thing so as you can see there are a lot of modifications you can make on the swords i am going to probably go with more damage and more ammo the arc sword can actually create orbs potentially when killing enemies that could be very useful if you're a team playing guy the special ability of the sword is just amazing you'll see that in a moment along with the void and the solar swords and their special abilities in a few circumstances so first we have the solar sword now this in my opinion is designed for bigger targets with its uppercut ability to take down those majors those big bosses things like that next we have the void look at that area of attack damage one spin and he actually took them all out i think he might have done an extra spin there just for show because it's cool but here is the arc sword and as you can see it throws out like an arc discus that just rips through things which i really really love so here we go again with the void taking out two enemies there you'll see why we're up here in a moment next we have the solar sword again and it's not best tested out on these enemies but look how far it sends that guy flying it really is an amazing weapon i can't wait to get my hands on those two as well but i'm just loving my arc sword at the minute look at the range on that thing it can be used as a sniper it actually kills all three of these taking them out one at a time and i just love this sword i'm going to need extra ammo with it because it does take five per swing but it's definitely worth and definitely a lot of fun hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you haven't would like to see more exotic sword gameplay don't forget to subscribe as always thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video